Hey folks, a whole lot cooler today than yesterday, and in some places a whole lot wetter. There have been some showers around today. We'll look at the radar in a moment, but look at the temperatures. 59 in Westlaco right now, 60 in Edinburgh, everybody else in the low 60s. Brownsville still holding out as the warm spot at 64 degrees. Overnight, our readings will drop off more. We're expecting temperatures to fall into the 50s pretty much valley-wide. The exception, the island, which should bottom out at about 62. And a few showers are still possible, passing showers during the evening hours. But I think late tonight, they go away. And then tomorrow, we start with clouds and end up with some sunshine. We'll look at that in a second. Tomorrow's highs back in the 70s again. That'll count on at least a little bit of afternoon sunshine. If we get a lot of sunshine, maybe warmer than that. But right now, we're going for a high tomorrow of 73 degrees. And we're holding it there on Thursday, mainly because more clouds will come in during the afternoon on Thursday. And then Friday, back up up to 78 right on the normal for this time of year, but we're certainly not threatening the records at all. We'll get nowhere close to that. This is your radar. First one five Doppler network shows that the big stuff that we were talking about yesterday, the potential for isolated thunderstorms, they all went across the coastal bend, stayed just a little north of the valley. Here we saw mostly showers and light rain for the most part, kind of dotting the valley. And there's still some there and there's still some energy back here that has to sneak through. So still the possibility of a few more showers as we go through the evening evening hours, but again, late tonight, I think the rain goes completely away. Future track will indicate that and then tomorrow the clouds will break and by afternoon we should see at least some sunshine over the area. Now overnight tomorrow night, the clouds will still be kind of hanging around. They're not going to go away and Thursday. If anything, the clouds will thicken up during the day as the flow turns more back out of the south and we bring more humidity back into the region and by Friday, an isolated shower is a possibility. Notice there's not a lot of green on there. For the most part, it's just clouds, but certainly a cloudier day on Friday with about a 20% chance for an isolated shower. So something in the morning tomorrow still possible, but I think we're talking pre dawn probably dry Thursday and then a slight chance of stuff on Friday. Bigger picture shows the front and shows where all the moisture was today. Just a little bit north of us front continues to sag to the south as high pressure builds in from the north. It will slowly move off to the east. So by the time you get to late Thursday and Friday, it's kind of centered near let's say New Orleans and begins to pull away. Southerly flow kicks in Friday, giving us spotty showers. Next front begins to take shape by the weekend. Looks like now it's not going to get here until Sunday night or Monday morning. So both Saturday and Sunday should be very warm with the turn to our cooler temperatures for early next week. Traveling tomorrow, 47 at 7 o'clock in the morning in San Antonio. Dallas is 39, Houston's 48 by afternoon. The state warms up a little bit, not a lot. Most of the state ending up tomorrow afternoon in the 60s. So for tonight, cloudy and cool with a couple of showers, but nothing big. 55 for your low. Then tomorrow, some clouds early, then some afternoon sunshine. 73 for the high. Northeast winds at about 8 to 16 miles an hour. Take a look at the next few days. We go up to 78 on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we have both days now at 90 degrees. Both warm, both humid. Front comes in Sunday night, making Monday and Tuesday cloudy and cooler. Monday looks a lot like today. Cloudy skies, maybe a few showers and temperatures staying in the 60s most of the day. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.